Here we go, 22,304. We start off with the blasters, but we got a whole slew of stuff. Well, it ain't over till it's over yet. So, who knows? You might get the best card in the break. It is possible. We've got a rookie for LA of Spence. And a glitter bomb of Shifley for the Jets. Shifley for the Jets. We've got a diamond for Montreal of Allen and a rookie of Brink for Philly. We got a black uh, rainbow of Dostal for the Ducks. And a white diamond rookie of Bobby Brink for Philly. Bobby Brink. We've got a color flow of Chisholm for Winnipeg. And a rookie for Philly of Kate's. Holy, is every rookie in this Philadelphia? We've got a Seattle a black rainbow of McCann. And an iced out of Tanner Janot for Nashville. All right, I'm going to actually move this over here. So I can put these over here. We've got for Florida, Denisenko, a uh, green rookie. Shinnikov for the Blue Jackets Crystals. And a Lukanen for Buffalo rookie. We've got a green of Lindholm for Calgary. And a green for the Blues of Ryan O'Reilly. Green for Florida of Ryan Hart. And a green of Pareko for the Blues. Five ninety nine Addison for Minnesota. Addison for Minnesota. We've got a purple or lavender for the Blue Jackets of Line A and a keen for the Canes rookie. We've got a Washington P. Lon Green, San Jose Peterson rookie. And a green for Nashville of Tomasino. Okay, okay. We've got for Vegas, Ron Burke, Young Guns. Dazzlers of Landeskog for the Avs. Canvas of Wierenski for the Jackets. Young Guns of Steen for Boston. And love We'll go with the SP. We've got a blue of Honors Lee for the Islanders and a Mitchell rookie for Chicago. Anaheim Ducks, Hawken Paw rookie. And a rookie jersey for Minnesota, Kaprizov. Well, that's not too shabby. Kaprizov, Minnesota. 
We've got a Profiles for Florida, Barkov, and a Kopitar for LA Blue. Blue for Florida of Yandel, and a K. Andre Miller for the Rangers rookie. We've got a $22.99 of Bowers for the Avs, and a Nolan Foot rookie for the Devils. San Jose Hurdle, and a Bailey for the Islanders. We got a Red Wings Mantha Blue and a Kiv Lennox rookie for the Blue Jackets. Blue rookie of foot for Tampa and a Larkin for the Red Wings. Okay, okay. Now on to the platinum. We've got a Marky rookie of Beckman for Minnesota. Marky rookie of Passage Nut for the Sharks. And a yellow of Beckman for Minnesota. Yellow Surge. Yellow Surge. Beckman. Die cut of Lafreniere for the Rangers. Sunset for Anaheim of Henrique. Marky Rookie of Turcott for LA. Yellow Surge of Blackwood for the Devils. Marky Rookie of Drysdale for the Ducks. Retro Rookie Drysdale for the Ducks. Sweet Selections Valeno for the Red Wings. Rainbow of Goudreau for Calgary. Rookie of Nashville Novak. Yellow of Pionk for Winnipeg. Neil Pionk for Winnipeg. All right, 21, 22. We got a Hellebuck Retro for the Jets. Rangers SPX of Longfist. Dazzlers for Vancouver of Patterson. Canvas for LA of Campe. Holographics Gold for Anaheim of Zegris. And a Young Guns of McCartney for the Coyotes. Me for the coyotes. We've got a young gun to fair very for Washington. So out of curiosity, Dan, and of course anyone else, would you guys rather me kill Vegas, shooting stars for Philly of Giroux, and Seattle, but the break is around 60 or 70 bucks more per spot for everybody? Young Guns for Tampa, Verhage. Oh, 
Like, I am curious for those who join the breaks, if that is something you'd rather. Well, you are you are getting a prize either way, right? So that's that's one part. So I, I don't I don't understand why you would think you have no uh, potentials. Troy Terry Blue for Anaheim, and a rookie of Pod Colson for Vancouver. Blue rookie. Blue for Vancouver of Garland. And a Paterka for Buffalo. Blue rookie. Blue of Hamilton for the Devils. And a Duheim for Minnesota Blue. We've got a 11.99 rookie. Swayman. For Boston. And we've got a authentic profiles of Smith for the Oilers. Odds we do four. I have no idea what four or three is, to be honest. Kachuk for Calgary Blue. And a rookie of Damani for Dallas. We got a blue of Ehlers for the Jets and a Jarvis for Carolina. Realistically, Luke, any break that fills... No, I know what number you mean. I'm saying any break that fills, we're going to do. Vancouver, Patterson, blue. Spencer Knight for Florida. Credentials team select. Uh, if the eight teams go, then absolutely. For Anaheim profiles of Troy Terry. And a rookie of Cider for the Red Wings. Yeah, no worries. Like, here's the thing. We have asked many times over a lot of people. Is the uh, more affordable break the better? Or 50% refund. So, out of curiosity, here's my only thing, Dan, on that. And again, I'm just, I love the conversation on these things. But let's say, theoretically, Seattle does better than 40% uh, of the teams. Why would they get a 50% refund then? We got a Young Guns for the Devils of Ball. Like, I'm just throwing it out there. Retro for the Avalanche of McKinnon. Reflections for Montreal of Romanov. So how would that be fair to the other people who didn't do as good? NHL best of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Young Guns for the Blues of Hoffer. Rookie Class for the Blue Jacket of Foodie. Base. And again, I always do appreciate the uh, conversation because that's what makes it, you know, better down the road. Strand for LA Young Guns. We've got a tribute, Young Guns, of Krebs for Vegas. Um, no, I can understand that point of it, for sure. Rathbone, Young Guns, for Vancouver. We've got a Pasternak for Boston Retro. Parise for Minnesota, ovation. Ultimate victory for the Hawks of Lankinen. Wing, now the only thing is, 
Ultimate victory for Dallas of T Ty De La Andrea. I don't know if doubling up would essentially make anyone feel that much better. Holographics for Vancouver of Hoaglander. I mean, it's exact. It's the same debate, right? That Vegas isn't in there. Dazzlers for the Coyotes of Garland. When was Vegas? Seventeen eighteen. So hold on, I might I might be wrong on that. Is it Vegas seventeen eighteen? Hodorenko, Young Guns for the Rangers. It's cut prior. Okay. Winnipeg Jets. Rookie class of Stanley. McDavid for the Oilers. Uh, ultimate victory. McDavid retro for the Oilers. So, Rob, we've done that before. Young Guns for Anaheim of Curran. Uh, we have done that before. And people hated the breaks because then the giveaway is weird as it sounds. And I understand it to some extent. Then the giveaway is basically like, here's your garbage team giveaway for the most. That's how people viewed it. I disagree with that because I've done Dazzlers for LA of Dowdy. I have done tons of monsters in, uh, obviously in our career here. And the amount of times that like spots number 25 to 31 or 32 end up with the biggest card in a break is insane. I'm not saying it's always going to happen. Obviously. But as I said, the options are we eliminate some teams and it becomes more expensive. Um, we give away those teams, but then let's be honest, I don't think many of you guys are going to be chomping at the bit to join those breaks. In my opinion. Hundo P for the Sharks of Burns. So I'm just trying to think of what the right route would be. Young Guns of Lind for Vancouver. Canvas for Philly of Sean Couturier. Retrospective of Stutzel for the Sens. Like, my, my only logic, realistically, I understand talking about this after the break. But to me, before the break doesn't make the most potential sense. Portrait of Darlene for Buffalo. And what I mean by that is, like, let's say in Black Diamond case, we might get a one-of-one one Seattle. We might get a, I'm trying to think who's uh, Seattle's rookie. We might get a Shane Wright 101 in Parkers or something, right? Hundo P for Florida of Barkov. So would that make, you know, is that now better or worse? Because obviously it's going to be one of the bigger cards. Electro Suzuki for Montreal. Well, we know, I do agree it is a gamble. Young Guns for the Ducks in Montreal, Caulfield Degris. But I think it's also very important. To, uh, to find out how we can better the process. Young Guns for Philadelphia, Kate. Only 10, Golden. Canvas for Minnesota of Suter. Dazzlers for Vancouver of JT Miller. Oh, Dan, no, I appreciate the feedback. Canvas of the Maple Leafs of Matthews Marner. Young Guns of Barry Boulay for Tampa. Young Guns of Allison for Philly. Only three for Vegas. Okay, that's good then. Portraits for Buffalo of Lukanen. Canvas of Kane for Chicago. Yeah, I think the only thing I'm trying to get across, Dan, is that there's no right method. Electro of Darlene for Buffalo. Like, if we start having this $900 break turn into a $1,000 break, then you're going to have people saying it's too expensive. Aho for Ka or sorry, Sveshnikov portraits for Carolina, or honor roll for Carolina. 
Young Guns of Zahorna for Pittsburgh. But I do understand the idea of it, for sure. Dazzlers for the Rangers of Panarin. Young Guns of Michaelis for Vancouver. Retrospective Jersey Stutzel for Ottawa. As I had wing nut, no problem doing that. Again, the price point's gonna be higher though, right? That's the only negative. So instead of an 899 break, now it's probably like 930-ish or whatever it is. Rontanen on a roll for the Avs. So just keep that in mind. Third dollars more, yeah. Well, as I said, the perspective I was always told before is people want the cheapest possible way. So, obviously more spots allows you to do a cheaper per spot. Like we've tried, Dan, I don't know how long you've uh, done this. We've tried to do like double up monsters before and people were just like, nah, the value is too high. <laughs> Montreal to Foley canvas. I actually thought that was the best one, personally. Retro rookie of Perfetti for the Jets. Like, I actually liked it the most. I thought that was the best value one. Young Guns of Hoffman for the Blue Jackets. I uh, We used to do a two-tiered, for those that remember. Marky rookie for Tampa of Kachuk, where we did you get one of the top 15 teams and one of the bottom 15, and people hated it. I don't know why, to be honest. Marky, Ricky Blue of Steen for Boston. The consensus that we used to get is people were like, well, if we're willing to gamble, we will, we're willing to gamble good or bad. Young Guns Canvas of Phillips for Calgary. Canvas Young Guns Phillips. Uh, the other one, Dan, if you ever remember, on a roll for San Jose of Burns. That end up turning out really bad as we tried to tier the system uh, for prizing. We got a student each for the Devils portraits. So what we did, for those that remember, is when we did a draw. Canvas for Seattle of Everly. Is uh, the people who got the worst teams had the best uh, chances at the bigger prizes. Long fist portraits for the Rangers. But that got vetoed very quickly. For whatever reason. Dazzlers for the Blue Jackets. Ross Slovic. See, that's funny though, damn. To me, it's like you're almost trying to help the people who had the worst teams in the break. Lecition for Vegas. And I'm kind of curious, Dan. Why do, you, why do you dislike that one? Seth Jones for the Hawks. For the Anaheim Ducks, Marky, a rookie of McTavish. You can't explain why? That's fair. You just don't like it? LA Kings, Young Guns of Byfield. I, I can tell you the mo the feedback we got on that was most people didn't like that if they landed in the number one spot. It didn't mean they get good cards, so why do they get um, basically kicked out of a good shot of the big prize? LaPierre for Washington. But to me, it's it's interesting how they think that way. Dazzlers for Dallas of Hints. But I remember we tried that. That one failed. Vancouver Dazzlers of Quinn Hughes. Canvas for the Blue Jackets of Warrenski. Marky, rookie of Steen for Boston. Yeah, I, I, I hear your point on that. Young Guns of Ronta for the Abs. But, so Dan, out of curiosity, would the mentality not be the same? Marky, rookie of Calgary, Ruzika. On the teams that, yes, you could get Seattle, but you could get the main prize just as much as you could get Edmonton in the main prize. Dennis Sanko, Young Guns for Florida. 
Is it not technically the, roughly the same thing? Or are you more, or do you just not like the limitation of it? Honor roll of Raymond for the Red Wings. Because if you don't like the limitation, then technically the random is no limitation, right? You have just as good a shot to get Edmonton as you do Seattle, and you have just as good a chance to get Toronto as you do Vegas. But the best, best boxes doesn't. Yeah, that's not, that is definitely not incorrect. And will the only argument I can have against that, which I'm not disagreeing with you on that, but you could say that the best boxes don't always have the best stuff. And that, again, I know your odds are better in Cup. I'm not oblivious to that. So I do agree with what you're saying. But, like, I'll give you a good example. And I know we have a long way to go. But you have two Seattle hits, and Toronto only has one canvas so far. So, like, you're doing better than the Maple Leafs. Batherson, Retro, Ottawa. And let's be honest, if this was a draft, Maple Leafs probably would have been second or third. Young Guns of Tarasov for the Jackets. Now, again, let's see how it all ends up. Dazzlers for Carolina of Freddie Anderson. Canvas for the Red Wings of Nadelkovich. Holographics of Pod Colson for Vancouver. We've got a gold stockpile retro young guns. New hook. Uh, I wouldn't say my logic is messed. I'm pointing out, Will, that I've done enough monsters that the 30th spot or 32nd spot has done significantly better than the first spot. So I'm saying I don't think one team is going to 100% tell you what you're going to get. Aho for Carolina versus not get. That's what I mean. Canvas of Taves for the Avs. I understand the Leafs should do better. Young Guns of Bjorkfist for Pittsburgh. We got a Triple Diamond for Minnesota of Kaprizov. We got a Young Guns of Thompson for Ottawa. Canvas of Wallstrom for the Islanders. Well, again, I will remind everyone, the worst chancer we ever did, the longest one, Troy Terry for the Ducks, was the one chancer that was the most even across the board for everybody. But yet, it literally took the longest to fill because it didn't have a big enough hit, apparently. Dennis Senko. Rookie gems for Florida. So it, it is tough to say, like, do people want consistency or do they want the best chance that something big? We got a Vasilevsky for Tampa. And there is no wrong answer, just so you guys know. I'm not saying one thing is better than the other. I can promise you, I would love to be able to post as many monsters and fill them as fast as I can. Danine for the Coyotes. So whatever works for all of you guys works for me. That's why I love getting feedback from people. Dazzlers for Winnipeg of Shifley. Canvas of Thompson for Buffalo. We got a holographics of Spencer Knight for Florida. L.A. Kings Jersey. So that's the other thing, Michael, that I think people have to look into. I'm not saying specifically. We got a tribute, Young Guns, of Puranovich for the Blues. Is how do you value certain things like Baneer rookies, right? Shane Wright rookies versus a team that doesn't have good rookies. Young Guns of Drury for Carolina. Uh, Fire Chicken, we used to do that as well. I, I used to love doing drafts. Um, the issue with drafts is they took too long to be completely candid. 
but I love doing drafts. They were very, very fun. So, Han, do we got a trade? <laughs> do I have to ring the bell or something on this one? What is the trade exactly? Wait, what's the team? I just need to know so I can uh, actually do it. We got a portrait of Panarin for the Rangers. Are we talking Sharks for the um, Canes, or which one are we talking? Debut dates for the Jets of Perfetti. It is impossible. I agree with you, Robert. Young Guns canvas of Kate for Philly. Carolina for Seattle. See, that's a solid trade. All right. I will change it after. Young Guns for Seattle. Maddie Bunniers. Seattle Young Guns, Maddie Bunniers. Timing on that, I'm not going to lie. We've got a French variant for Vegas of Mark Stone. Okay, now we just need a good Carolina hit. we got to offset this. Defense mechanism of Hughes for Vancouver. Portraits rookies for the Hawks of Reichel. Defense gold for Seattle, Vince Dunn. We got a uh, center of attention for Ottawa of Stutzel. This is all staged. I can't help it, I know. Young Guns of Pustinen for Pittsburgh. You know what's going to be the most epic thing? We're going to get somehow in what, 21-22 cup. It's going to be a dual shield of Carolina-Seattle. Vancouver, canvas of Quinn Hughes. I think that's the only way to actually end this one properly. Young Guns of Dostal for the Ducks. Young Guns, Dostal. We've got a canvas of Freddie Anderson for Carolina. Dazzlers for Florida Verhage. We've got a retrospective of Tanner Janot for Nashville. So Fire Chicken, just to talk about what you said before. Defense for Seattle of Vince Dunn. We did do the draft, so I would random everyone's name and they drafted. That's literally what we did for the first God knows how many years of Monsters. On a roll for the abs, Makar. We've got a clear cut of Kiera. Kiera for the Hawks. So we did do that before. Young Guns for Philadelphia of Ratcliffe. Young Guns for Ottawa, so guard. Ottawa, Senators, so guard. Canvas of Burns for the Sharks. We got a defense of Pionk for Winnipeg. So I can tell you, Fire, when we did those ones, what the issue was per se. On a roll of Brat for the Devils. Where where it kind of became a problem sometimes. And a Young Guns of Abru Zisi for the Maple Leafs. Okay, give me a few seconds. Guys, that's got to do the base stuff. And uh, I'll get it going. Yeah, so I'll I'll, I'll talk to you as uh, as we get in the base organized here. 
is essentially what ended up happening is sometimes there was a delay on the broadcast, which again, whether it be us or it be them, obviously we, there's no way we can tell. So that annoyed a lot of people because sometimes the spot would take like five, ten minutes to get picked, right? And then when people were like, just hurry up and pick and just go. So we would pick what we thought was best available. Now I'm sure you guys can imagine when we picked what was best available and that team didn't do well, and then the team that they might have picked that they would say afterwards did well, well now it's our fault, right? That was a good trade for you, eh, Dan? Someone traded three for one. So that was a negative of, and I, I just, like, to be honest, is it was just a lot of effort on us and the amount of times that we got, you know, bad, angry emails because, you know, we didn't pick the right team for them, even though they weren't there. Like, I love the concept of it. Don't get me wrong. We've got an orange slice of Pilon for the Caps. We've got a rookie for the Devils of Tice Thompson. We've got a Tomasino to $1.99 for the Preds. We've got a Dallas Stars rainbow of Ottinger. Rookie, a uh, control room of Gustin for Ottawa, and a Caulfield for Montreal rookie. Oh, wingnut. But the thing is that you always want to at least try to give everyone the best feeling, right? Soros, red rainbow for Nashville. For Minnesota, double rainbow Kaprizov, and a Drysdale for Anaheim rookie. We got a black rainbow for Ottawa of Kachuk. Hustle hit, never quit of Ben for Dallas. And a rookie of Addison for Minnesota. We've got a black rainbow rookie, Caulfield. Caulfield, black rainbow rookie for Montreal. Iced out of Robertson for Dallas. And a rookie of Kupari for LA. We've got a uh, Pros Vital for the Coyotes, Rainbow, Rookie of Pod Colson for Vancouver, and a Red Rainbow Rookie Auto of Cam York. That should be, is that Rangers, I believe? Oh no, is that Philly? That's Philly, right? Cam York. Okay, now I'm going to, I think it's Philly. I'm pretty convinced. We've got a blah, red rainbow rookie of Lukanen for Buffalo, red baskets of Bobrovsky for Florida, and a Zegris for the Ducks. We've got a black rainbow for Florida of Huberdo, rookie for the Coyotes of Prozbatov, and a Stutzel, 199. Or Toronto. No, you can never be mad with Toronto cards. Come on. Toronto is like the greatest team in the history of all sports combined. And it's not even close. I feel like that's going to get more of a chatter than anything right there. <laughs> you got Toronto. I'm just happy to be here. Uh, that's funny. No, I know, Wingnut. I know. I appreciate the, uh, the back and forth. We've got for Montreal Radiance of Carey Price. And Travis, I hope I can get you a big, you know, Matthews or Marner or Nylander. Or something else that you want. We've got a Carter Hart Extravagant Materials for Philly. For the, that's a nice card, Panthers. 10 of 15, Radiance FX Auto, Alexander Barkov. Barkov for Florida.
And we got for the Buffalo Sabres, 349, Rustalainen. Rustalainen. Some Bruins can start showing up. Yeah, I don't think I've got many Bruins, have I? But as I said, guys, I always do appreciate the feedback. I said, I, I like genuinely do appreciate hearing honest feedback. So never be shy to, to express what you like and don't, don't like because that only makes us... Uh, to be honest, creatively think better for you guys. That's kind of the game plan that we always want to do. I, I wish I could build a break that every single one of you guys will crush it and win because uh, you guys would join every single break then. Lilligrain prospects for the Leafs. All-star of Markstrom for Vancouver. And a rookie of Yo Levy for Vancouver. We've got a Stutzel net deposits for Ottawa. All-star of Hedman for Tampa. Impossible. Well, not really. I could build a chancer with all the cards being way over, uh, like, the price of the thing, and I just lose money. Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. Lilligren, rookie for the Maple Leafs. And a Shea Weber for the uh, Habs. Like, I can technically do that. Alloy for Vancouver of Pedersen Besser. And a rookie of Nijal for the Sharks. Probably not the smartest route, but I could. We got a PMG of Kivalinix. Kivalinix. I feel like we're going to have a... Uh... There we go. Kivalinix PMG. Oh, uh, actually, Josh, I would say it's almost the opposite. Sagan for Dallas All-Stars, and a Broberg for the Oilers rookie. I, I will tell you, it's a pain in the butt for me to build breaks now with the prices. Olmark Intimidation Nation for uh, Buffalo. Rookies of McMichael for the Caps, and a Carlson All-Star for the Caps. We've got an Alon of Dowdy for LA, and a rookie of Stutzel for Ottawa. And what I mean by that, how it is so much harder now to do SP game used. You get five, six cards for 300 bucks. That is not a breaker friendly uh, pricing. Robertson net deposits for the Maple Leafs. Giordano for Calgary All Star. And a Mitchell rookie for the Hawks. But to be honest with what you're saying, it's also not a friendly pricing for consumers. Prospects for Carolina of Lawrence. All Star of Huberto for Florida. So I think it's both, right? Vancouver Retro Patterson and a rookie of Romanov from Montreal. We've got for the Islanders rookie auto to 199 Sorokin. Like let if you think about it, Josh. What do you think the price point be on Chicago for some of the big products to come out? Premier, uh, Ultimate, Cup, SBA, um, Ingrained. Like, Chicago's going to be well north of $1,000, $1,500 a spot. That is not helping breakers. <laughs> Could Chuck for Ottawa, All-Star. Like, I, I, hate bra I hate posting that high of a spot. Net deposits, Kaprizov for Minnesota, Brome for the Red Wings rookie, Freddie Anderson All-Star for the Leafs. Yeah, that was a beautiful Sorokin. Prospects of Lethana for the Sharks, rookie of Evans for Montreal. We've got a Jonathan Quick, Intimidation Nation for LA, All-Star of Yossi for the Preds, and a Krebs for Vegas rookie. We got a retro of Kane for the Hawks and a Hellebuck for the Jets. Oh, so Josh, let's go on that example, okay? So what is a what's a uh, case of 23, 24, 16 boxes? So do the math on 600 times 16, and then keep in mind you can't you have to do all the other teams. I think Chicago genuinely has to be about four thousand dollars in that break. And I'm not even exaggerating that. Explain to me as a breaker. And here's the thing. So 16 times 600 is what? 
Even if I get $4,000 for Chicago, just for fun, guys, I need $5,600 more. You divide that by 31 other teams, you're still at almost $200 every team. <laughs> that is a ridiculous amount to do as a breaker. It's just not possible. Medal for Minnesota, Kaprizov. And a rookie for Florida of Lundell. Cup used to come out at 400, Josh, but yeah, you're pretty close. Retro of Denisenko for Florida. I love those days. I think, sadly, all those days are going to be gone now. It's, it's sad. <laughs> Big man on ice of Marner for the Maple Leafs. And a rookie for the Anaheim Ducks, McTavish. And in September. Well, we are getting Cup in September, just 22-23. Prospects of Drysdale for the Ducks. And a rookie of Phillips for Calgary. So technically they're hitting their September date. Amped up of Caulfield for Montreal. And a rookie of Lungfist for the Rangers. We've got a neon icon of Barca for Florida. And a rookie of Thompson for Ottawa. We got a Caulfield for Montreal Retro and a Lapierre for Washington Rookie. Uh, realistically, Josh, we will get it uh, middle of next year, just so you know. We've got a Metallics for Boston, David Pasternak. That's a cool metallics. Those are, I believe, case hits. So we got a prospects of Ronta for the Avs and a rookie for the Preds of Ference. We've got a Cheddar for the Avalanche of McKinnon and a rookie of Holtz for the Devils. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Josh. I'm on the same side as you. Metal Universe picks of Marshawn for Boston. And for the Red Wings of Cider. The thing is, we hear about it every day, right? And I understand it, too. Retro for the Hawks of Cal Neuk. And a rookie of Thomas Sino for the Preds. You have every right to be bummed. Honestly, every collector does to a certain extent, so... Big man on ice of Barzil for the Islanders. And an Eklund rookie for the Sharks. We got a Prospects of Colton for Tampa. The only thing I will remind everybody in the card collecting world, so maybe it eases the mentality a bit. Amped up for Florida of Barkov. And a rookie of Addison for Minnesota. If you want the higher end to be worth more money, you have to understand that the boxes are going to be more like dollar value for you as a consumer. That's just a sad reality and truth of it. If you want your Bedard to be worth more, and we're talking like, you know, tens of thousands now, sadly, you're going to be paying for on the lower dollar, uh, the, uh, the bottom dollar stuff. That's why you see, uh, you know, certain, ex like for example, like extended in the U S at like 30 bucks. But there's nothing crazy to get out of there. So that's why it's a value it is. We've got a $3.99 horizontal dual jersey for the Ducks of Drysdale. Well, Michael, the, it, it's all around, right? The players, the players got to be good. That's number one. If the players aren't good, it's hard to get value out of them. We got a $2.49 Verana for the Red Wings. Verana. I don't think competition helps, to be honest on that. I think that's kind of a, a wrong thing to say. Number to 50, Bjorkstrand for the Blue Jackets. When Panini and Upper Deck were here, they both had great products. They both had garbage products. It didn't change, in my opinion, that much. We got a 9.99 Yannick for the Coyotes. Like, realistically, it didn't really change much on the production scale and stuff like that. 
599 burns for the sharks. And I can tell you from a store level, it actually burns out a lot of stores. Number to 199 for Washington Mantha. Because a lot of stores could not afford, like we went from basically like 22 releases a year to about 42 releases a year. Numbered 8 of 10. Dual fight strap patch. Well, I guess not patch. Dual fight strap auto rookie. Luke on in. Uh, Josh, here's again, just my honest opinion. I do not disagree with that statement, but if you think competition and Panini coming in helped with that, Panini was the king of parallels. I encourage anyone, if you guys look at Upper Deck and go, you know, there's a lot of parallels, count how many parallels are in Prism or Select. Four ninety nine Shea Theodore for Vegas. I'm not exaggerating. I can't remember which product I accounted for in basketball recently, but there is 66 parallel versions. 66. I would bet you the most that we have in hockey is probably 25, maybe. Imagine having 66 versions of, of a card in one product. Trust me. Upper Deck is the uh, the least of the parallel happy people. <laughs> they are making more parallels. I do not disagree with that. But they are definitely nowhere near as bad as the other ones. Dual jersey. No, a 249 of Anderson. Like, I do encourage any one of you guys to go look up a prism, a select, or mosaic. Uh, Josh, but that's what I'm saying. Oh, my God. This is big. Well, he is not here just for the ride. Let me uh, assure you that one. A jersey. A patch. An autograph. Numbered four of 15. Austin Matthews. Not here just for the ride now, are ya? Your beer just started to taste a lot better. I agree with that. Nice stuff. Well, that's a sexy start. What a fine player he is. We got a rookie redemption for the Rangers. Nice stuff, Travis. Congrats, buddy. We've got an Orum for Pittsburgh of Jari. I feel like that's going to be the biggest card of the break, but let's hope we get bigger. We got for Carolina, $5.99 of Freddie Anderson. Number to 65, Ference for Nashville. That will be tough to beat. I agree, but let's try at least, right? 499 rookie of Rossi for Minnesota. And we've got number to 199 for LA of Ayafalo. But yeah, Josh, if you ever want to have fun literally i'm not exaggerating look up panini prism the checklist and look how many variants there are for panini it, it's it's mind-blowing uh let's do the star rookies guess what guys i feel a bedard's coming i feel a bedard how the hell does this one open Ah, we're going to open it from a very awkward way. There we go. Oh, that's Korchinski. I, I still got teased. All right, I want to make sure.
sure I do this properly. They always wrap these things. The good thing about this one is uh, you're guaranteed the good rookies, and I, I like that. All right, well, rookies here, guys. Chicago, Korchinski, Evangelista for Nashville. Bolduck for the Islanders. Fantilli for the Jackets. Coronado for Calgary. Fraser Minton for the Leafs. Edvinson for the Wings. Cooley for the Rangers. Leo Carlson for Anaheim. Benson for Buffalo. DeHarnay for the Oilers. Matthew Nyes for the Leafs. Forrester for Philly. Ty Cartier for Seattle. Askarov for Nashville. Hiroshi Vancouver. Cooley for the Coyotes. Greg for Ottawa. Connor Bedard for Chicago. Mintukov for the Ducks. Faber for Minnesota. Levi for Buffalo. Beck for Montreal. Poitras for Boston. Casper uh, for the Red Wings. And a two, number to 349, sorry, of Mintukov. Mint, you cause 349 for the Ducks. Oh, Josh, yeah, I don't disagree, is it? But there's positives and negatives to that, right? More variance means there's more chances of getting different versions of said big card. And if you want better shots at bigger stuff, you need more variance. Let's be honest on that. As sad as it is, that is the truth. So, although it might be negative to some... It's better for others. Like, let's be honest, Josh. If you open a box of Series 2 and got Deluxe Young Guns of Bedard, you ain't unhappy with that. Young Guns for Boston of Beecher. PC of Marner for the Leafs. And a Kachuk for Florida. Canvas. We've got a Glossy of Pedersen for Vancouver. Greg Honorol for Ottawa. Pizzetta for Montreal, Director of Boards. We've got a PC Sparkle of Larkin for the Wings, Condoda Young Guns for Montreal, and a Deep Root of Sagan for Dallas. Glossy Connor Bedard. I do recommend getting the Bedards graded, by the way, for those in the break. Instinctive of Sorrows for the Preds, and a Jaguar, I believe that's a retired canvas, for Anaheim. Yeah, I, I don't mind, honestly, parallels. I think it does give a lot more people better value to open stuff, personally. Young Guns of Lavoie for Oilers, Honorable McCann for Maple Leafs, Instinctive of Carter Hart for Philly. And let's be honest, if it's not really changing the price point, it's not a big deal. Glossy of Beck for Montreal. Owen uh, Luke Hughes on a roll for the Devils. Kaprizov for Minnesota PC. Teasdale. Teasdale. Go to Teasdale. Young Guns for the Habs. Ecleptic of Kempe for LA. And a Deep Roots of Marshawn for Boston. So, Josh, let me ask you this. Would you rather none of those variants, glossy gold of McKinnon for the Avs, Kucherov portraits for Tampa, instinctive of Bennington for the Blues? I want honest opinion from you, okay? So give me one second. Let me just get this Dazzler pack out of the way. Thompson, Vegas, Skinner, Oilers, Mercer, Devils. Would you rather if Series 2 had no deluxe, no clear cut, no whatever else there was, okay? It only had a young gun, a high gloss, and exclusive Bedard. So you would barely ever see. And they produced as much as they did right now. Would you rather that or do you rather the I could get an outburst silver, I could get a clear cut, I could get a uh, deluxe? All honesty, would you rather just you barely ever see them so your odds become way lower? Or do you prefer the other route of more parallel so at least you have a better shot at them? We got a black rainbow for Seattle of Baneers. Glitter bomb for the Rangers of Panarin to 199. Color flow for Vegas of Stevenson and a Beecher for Boston rookie.
Like, I can tell you as a breaker, I want to see Bedard more for you guys. Uh, Red Rainbow of Stevenson for Vegas. Color Flow Auto. Hella Buck. So that's interesting, Josh, because I feel like that would long-term hurt the product because there'd be less chances to get Bedard's. Color Flow of Swayman for Boston and a rookie of Benson for Buffalo. Like I can tell you the breaker, I'd rather see Bedard more. Black Rainbow of Carlson for Anaheim. Lumber Masters of Heeshear for the Devils. Michelli Color Flow for the Coyotes. And a Cooley rookie for the Coyotes. But I can I can see your point. Black Rainbow of Konechny for Philly. I used to break away for Ottawa of Batherson. And a color flow of Bocelli for the Coyotes and a Patera for Vegas. Yeah, I understand that, Josh. The only thing I will say is I don't think it hurts the high end, though. Marshawn, Red Rainbow for Boston. Kuzmenko, Bar Down for Vancouver. Color flow for the Oilers of Dre Seidel. And a rookie, Connor Bedard. And what I mean by that is I don't think the exclusives or high gloss get hurt. Because there's more variants. Like, I just think it's uh, pretty, imp still pretty impressive. Red Rainbow Rookie of Spolzel for the Jackets. This Bedard tax. Golden Goalies of Mrazek for the Hawks. Marshman for Dallas Color Flow. And a Pointress for Boston. We got a Black Rainbow of Tuck for Buffalo. Polished Pros of Kopitar for LA. Color Flow for the Maple Leafs of Nyes. And a Casper for the Red Wings. But here's the thing, Josh. And I I'll be point blank blunt on this. Once I've done this one. Black Rainbow of Iorio for Washington. Glitter Bomb of New Hook to 199 for the Montreal Canadiens. Color Flow of Sorrows for the Preds. Sposal for the Jackets. Rookie. In my honest opinion, Josh, why aren't you as a collector buying a ton of the extended hobby 2021 that, as I said, you could buy for probably 35 bucks most places? Like, guys, are why don't you buy that one? Because you are getting 24 packs. Actually, I'll do the stack. 24 packs for like 30 bucks. So why aren't people eating that stuff up then? Realistically. We've got a legend silver. Gordy Howe for the Red Wings. Shesterkin Rainbow for the Rangers. I, I would say it's a consensus because you can't really get any big cards out of it. Silver of Ben for Dallas. Tomorrow's Riches of Tanner Janot for Nashville. Rookie of Bordello for the Sharks. Silver of Yossi for the Preds. And a mini back of Anderson for Montreal. A Bedard will pay for the retirement. Yeah, that is true too. Silver for Ottawa of Shabbat. Vejmelka for the Coyotes Rainbow. No, but I've had this conversation before, Josh. But it's like, you point to five or six products on your shelf and be like, well, why don't you buy that one, that one, or that one? They're like, well, you get nothing good in them. Well, exactly. That's that's why the other boxes are worth more money. Rookie for Philly of Ratcliffe. Silver of Backstrom for Washington. Rookie for the Ducks of Dostal. Like, don't get me wrong, you're correct. You're paying more for the better player, per se. Lafreniere, silver for the Rangers. And a rainbow of Dabrinkat for the Hawks. We got a rookie of Walsh for the Devils. Silver of Thompson for Buffalo. And a uh, rainbow of Hayes for Vegas. But it, it is true. If you think about this, why are star rookie boxes not by far the best value on the industry? 
You get a Bedard, you get a Fantilli, you get a Nyes, you get an Askarov, you get every big rookie in that box. Galvis for Chicago, Hollander for Pittsburgh, Silver of Vasilevsky for Tampa, tomorrow's Richards of Tomasino for the Preds. So why would you not be eating those things up at like 50 bucks? Or even 39 and whatever they were when they were out. Rookie of Castellich for Ottawa, Silver of Ratcliffe for Philly, Wire photo of Jarvis for Carolina. Rookie of Chaffee for Minnesota. Silver of Dumba for Minnesota. Prover of Gold Rainbow for Philly. The only... So here's the thing, Josh. I thought the same thing when I opened a store. Pustin in for Pittsburgh rookie. Mayor for the Blue Jackets rookie. Silver of Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. And a jukebox of Kachuk for Ottawa. But I can tell you when kids were in our store, the kids didn't like the kids' stuff. They wanted the big hits too. <laughs> I can promise you they hated MVP. It was weird. Fix Wolonski for the Blue Jackets. Silver of Demko for Vancouver. Mini back for Pittsburgh of Jari. Or mini, not mini back, it's mini. Rookie of Schneider for the Rangers. Silver of Skinner for Buffalo. We've got a autograph for Seattle. Philip Grubauer. Dan, the one most depressing time I ever had when I opened a store was within the first three years. I had a younger kid, probably 10 years old. He opened up one artifacts pack. Now keep in mind at the time, they were $8.99 a pack. He opened up one pack on a dual, dual jersey of Lindros and was upset. I'm like, oh my God, man. Like, it's like, I'm not saying it's a million dollar card or anything, but when you're upset that you got a dual jersey of Eric Lindros, he probably had no idea who it was, to be fair. Silver of Burns for the Sharks and a rookie of Poulin for Pittsburgh. But I can't remember what year it was. I think he was hoping for a Hopkins, so I think it was 11-12. So he's just depressed he didn't get that. Ronnie Adder for Philly. Mayors for the Avs rookie. Silver for Winnipeg of Kyle Connor. Legend for the Red Wings of Iserman. Yeah, it is. It's not untrue. Like, they want the good stuff. Okachuk, rookie for the Devils. Bureau for Buffalo, rookie. Silver of the uh, Rangers, uh, Chesterkin. And a rainbow for Dallas of Klingberg. Do you know how many times I've had people come into the store being like, I want a Bedard rookie? And then I, I point to a product and they go, how hard is it to get? And I explain it. Then I go, oh, by the way, you can buy the star rookie box and you're guaranteed a Bedard. And they'll be like, nah, I don't want that one. I'd rather do the chance one for whatever reason. Uh, rookie of Harris for Montreal. Silver of Dowdy for LA. Wire photo of Matthew Kachuk for Calgary. It's like you're guaranteed a Bedard. Korzak for Vegas. Silver of Nylander for the Leafs. And a mini blank back of Tolvanen for Nashville. It is. Don't disagree with you, Dan. Rookie of Vlasic for the Hawks. Silver of Klingberg for Dallas. And a rainbow of Brat for the Devils. We got a silver of Sagan for Dallas. And a Reichel for Chicago Rookie. And again, it's not because like, there's no right or wrong answer. Everyone's allowed to collect how they want to collect. That's the beautiful thing. The difference is, it's funny, because we can't get mad that there's a Bedard tax, because when we hit that Bedard, we'll be happy about those taxes. <laughs> you know how many people I've, I've had who are, like, perennial OPG openers for their, uh, like, OPG, the basic one, and they're thrilled that their base OPG card is now 50 to 100 bucks of, like, Bedard? They love that. We've got, oh, we're upside down now. An upside down box here. Rookie arrivals of Zegris for the Ducks. Speed of the game, Pod Colson for Vancouver. Options for everyone. Capital games, <laughs> yeah. We've got a debut ticket of Merkley for the Sharks. The 249. And we got a Roslovic for the Jackets. We've got a speed of the game of Cider for the Red Wings. Arrivals for Nashville, Tanner Janot. But it is a, it's such an interesting conversation, the mentality of how we all think. 
We got a Florida 149 for Chicago. I always remember as a store, Mercer for the Devils, star of the night, when we had 15-16 Series 1 and we moved it to 149, how many people were like, I'm not paying $50 more for that box. No way I'm paying $150 bucks for Series 1. Because they were so used to it at $99. Pazetta number to $9.99. For Montreal. Oh, yeah, it will go back down. The amount of times I heard that one. Arrivals of Tomasino for the Preds. <laughs> that is so right. We got a main stage signatures of Leonard for Vegas. Main stage signatures. Leonard for Vegas. And for the Maple Leafs, Tavares. Now, the funny thing is, I guarantee you, every single person who was in this hobby would happily pay $149 for a Series 1 box right now. But yet, I had a ton of people turning it down back in the day. $9.99, Joshua for the Blues. And we got the Neighbors for the Blues. This year will go down as one of the better years for rookies. Actually, like, not just Bedard. Prozvatov to $99 for the Coyotes. And we got a cider for the Red Wings star of the night. There's a lot of players that will be changing teams. Like even guys like Matthew Nyes, right? He will and should be impactful on the Leafs. Fantilli, cool, uh, Cooley. There's like literally Askarov. Who knows what he's been doing in San Jose right now. There's so many good rookies this year. Just Bedard overshadows every one. Same thing happened to uh, McDavid here. Same thing happened to Matthews here for the most part. We've got a green rookie of Allison for Philly. Sub-Zero for Dallas and 9.99 of Damani. And a rookie of Pod Colson for Vancouver. We've got a green of Huberto for Florida. San Jose Darlene uh, rookie. Seven ninety nine Harvey Pinard for Montreal. Um, Josh, I don't know if it should be in the hundred range. Costs have gone up on everything. To be fair, but yes, it should not be much more. But let's be honest though, Josh. Series one is one forty nine. It's not exactly that far of a stretch. In 10, 15 years, it's only gone up forty fifty bucks. It's not horrible. McAvoy for Boston Green, rookie for Nashville Ferrens, and a Lumpfist for the Rangers. Premier jersey. But I do agree, Series 2 is obviously really expensive. But yeah, Series 1 is reasonable. Like when it came out, I think it was 159 or 149. Pinto Green for Ottawa. We got a Crystal of Drysdale for the Ducks, and a rookie of Lapierre for the Cats. We got a Tomasino for Nashville Green, Crystals of Stutzel for Ottawa, and we got a new hook for Avalanche Rookie. Marner, yeah, he was a big boy too. We got a green of Crosby for the Penguins. We've got a dual rookie of Turcotte for LA, a rookie of Jones for the Rangers, and a 799 rookie for the Red Wings of Cider. Yeah, they moved that, Josh, I can tell you specifically. They moved that just to give them a little more time for better photos and getting more guys in. So that's why they did move the way they did it. Terravine and Green for Carolina. We got a Orange for San Jose of Brent Burns and a Rookie of Raymond for the Red Wings. Just so you know. And I don't mind that. That's, that's fair. Anaheim, Gibson, Green. Crystals of Marchesso for Vegas. We got a 99 for Seattle of Giordano. Giordano. And a rookie of Thompson for Vegas. Uh, well, Josh, you can say that about every new product, to be fair. And that, honestly, is the point of their business, is to make more business. Kane Green for the Hawks. Granlin for Nashville Orange. And a Gruel for the Ducks. Green of Protoss for the Caps. Rookie for Buffalo of Lukanen. And a Barkov frozen in time for Florida. Uh, I can tell you the reason why they needed to do that is because the prior year to extend it 
were getting absolutely murdered and they wanted to add, add some value into it. Green of Heart for Philly. Orange of Kupari for LA and a rookie for Carolina of Keene. So again, it's that conversation of adding value when they can, right? Green of Hyman for the Oilers. Rookie of Peterson for the Sharks. And a 99 a rookie. Exquisite rookie for Montreal. Cole Caulfield. 99 Caulfield. That's sweet. Exquisite. Beauty card. Congrats, Montreal. Again, maybe you recommend getting that one graded. All right. We've got a twelve ninety nine uh Pogonski for the Blues and an Aho Orange for Carolina. And to be fair though, like again, being completely honest, the products that are not very good, they do go down in price. The difference is, is nobody wants them because there's not enough good value in them. Well, two, you got to remember the boxes are a big part of that combo, right? So that's why that's priced in there. So like a lot of people, who knows what you're going to get in the box. It's like somebody in that... What do we have, a 16, 17 cup tin? Somebody is going to walk away, potentially get a Matthews 99. They might not get a Matthews. That's going to be a big change for everybody. Retro rookie of Allison for Philly. Marky rookie sunset of Lapierre for the Caps. Bernard Docker for Ottawa. Gadovich for the Sharks. Denisenko for the Panthers. Aho for Carolina. Photo driven. Uh, I don't think Chicago has, no. Rainbow of Carlson for Vegas. Bryson for Buffalo, Pilon for the Caps, McTavish for the Ducks, Sweet Selections for the Red Wings of Valeno, and Apajo for the Islanders. Maple Leafs did very well so far. Chicago with a few Bedards have done well. We still got the 15-16 Cup 10 to uh, give away. Nashville Yossi for the Preds, Cam York Marky Rookie for Philly, Thompson for Vegas, Darlene for San Jose, Couturier pink for Philly. Die cut for the Rangers of La Frenier. We got a retro rookie of Rustalainen for Buffalo. Heronic sunset for the Red Wings. Demani for Dallas, marquee rookie. Rookie to Swayman for Boston. Benoit for the Ducks. Caulfield sweet selections for Montreal. Gadovich hot magma for the Sharks. You had to sweet, <laughs> sweet talk the wife to get two spots. Well, there's only eight multi spots in this, so somebody, you guys have a one in eight shot to get an eight thousand dollar cup tin. That ain't too bad on the odds. Rainbow of Faraby for Philly, and a Violet Pixels rookie auto for Vegas. Paul Cotter. Violet. Pixels, Paul Cotter. We got a marquee rookie of Peterson for the Sharks. You'll land it for Montreal. Turcotte for LA. Lafreniere, photo driven for the Rangers. Those are really good odds for people in that uh, cup one. Retro rookie of Drysdale for the Ducks. Rookie of Drysdale for the Ducks. Novak for the Preds. Beckman for the Wild. Die cut for the Oilers of McDavid. Rainbow retro for the Rangers Panarin. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, we did 449 on that one for release, Josh. I believe. Don't 100% quote me. Marky Ricky Rainbow of Student Each for the Devils. Rusa Linen for Buffalo. Pros Batov for the Coyotes. Raymond for the Red Wings. Photo Driven of Bennington for the Blues. And a Puranovich Red Rookie. For the glues. And again, that's a great example. The McDavid's are about twelve to fifteen thousand on release. Right now they're about a hundred thousand. So it kind of makes sense, right? Like on valuation in terms of why things go up. Marky rookie of Kelly for Ottawa. Marky rookies of Passage for the Sharks. Lapierre for the Caps. Phillips for Calgary. Barry Boulet for Tampa. 
and a Beckman for Minnesota. Like, there will be a reason why 22-23 Cup will probably come out around 11 or 1200 and then Bedard will come out of probably about two or three grand. It's not because one's built much better. One's going to have significantly better rookies. <laughs> or, not even rookies, rookie. Retro rookie of Ferentz for the Preds. Caulfield for Montreal. Neighbors for the Blues. Paterka for Buffalo. We got a pink of Jost for the Avs. And we got a die cut for the Ducks of Zebras. But different times, right? They honestly were just different times. And that's going to be sweet. Maybe that, I don't know, color gloves that. Like an oiler glove, maybe? What do you guys think? I don't want to spoil it. I want to have some fun with that. Does that look like... It's an emerald, so that could be exciting. And of course, my camera does not want to focus. Does that look like an oiler glove, maybe? What do you guys think? We'll save it. I'll save this one right to the end just to make it a little fun. We got a marquee rookie of Kachuk for Tampa. Richards for the Rangers. Addison for Minnesota. Cam York for Philly. Sweet selections. You think Montreal? All right. We got a retro of Hopkins for the Oilers. We got Florida Panthers, Huberto Sunset. Cider for the Red Wings. Duheim for Minnesota. Vejmelka for the Coyotes. Spencer Knight for Florida, photo driven. Yeah, but you're looking at it from a different point of view, Josh. McDavid came out at 10 to 12 grand. I guarantee you Bedard will come out way higher than 10 to 12 grand. That's the reason why it's different. We got a rainbow of Doc for Min uh, Montreal, oh, sorry, Chicago. Salo for the Islanders rookie. Sillinger for the Jackets. Red Noonan for the Rangers. We got a photo driven of New Hook for the Avs. And a Marchesso to two ninety nine for Vegas. No, it's not raining. I do. Uh, I I love these conversations back and forth. I genuinely do. But that's one thing I think people have to look at. McDavid came out around ten to twelve. I don't think Bedard will be less than twenty thirty. Personally, I might be wrong. Dun. Dun dun. Can I get a clear image? Oh, look at you! You got it! We've got for the Montreal Canadiens, 8 of 10, Josh Anderson. Nice call, Wingnut. Eight of ten. Yeah, I, I don't look at that stuff as random, Josh. It affects us all, let's be honest. Like I, I think that's why you're kind of seeing a bit of a, a retraction right now in the hobby, right? Because a lot of people are uh are having troubles with the box prices. No, it yeah, upper deck's not the only problem. It's also investors, collectors. We drive the price up too. We got a generation to Fiala for LA. $4.99 for Chicago of Taves. Hit an ore for Wingnut. Got it. We've got a $6.99 for Philly of Cates. $99 for Dallas of Pavelski. Chicago Vlasic for the Hawks renditions. And we've got a $6.99 Slavkovsky for Montreal. No, I can honestly promise you guys I really enjoy conversations in general. Especially during long breaks. Because my brain can only do so much opening cards without trying to think of other things. We've got number two nine ninety nine for Montreal Harris. And a base jersey of Ovechkin. It's not pocket change anymore. I agree. The hobby's shifted. That's how you have to look at it. The hobby shifted. Renditions of Holloway for the Oilers. And a $9.99 of Bordello for the Sharks. But I believe the same can be said across many different uh, fields of retail, right? Ooh, that's a sexy one. Numbered three. Of ten. Generation.
Nation's Auto, Henrik Zetterberg. Three of ten, Generations Auto of Zetterberg. That's sexy. Jeez. And we got a Rod Brindamore 699 Generations for the Kings. So here's the one thing, Josh, and this is going to date me and you. I don't know how old you are, to be honest. But maybe it's going to help you think better mentally on this. Is when I first started the store, you know what one of my biggest, I would say, complaints were? The older generation of card collectors complaining that box prices were too high. Because they remembered them at 99 cents and 25 cents. And $5 packs was absolutely insane to these people. Signature series, I came out at $10 a pack. My God, way too much money. So I feel like that generation now is just us. That we're looking at it. And at the times that we bought all these $90 series one boxes, $130 SPAs and going, oh my God, it's so much more money. But to the new collectors coming in, this will be their norm until a next guy comes out 10 years from now, right? We're just not used to these prices, but neither were the OPG guys when there's 99 cents. <laughs> Red of Huberto for Calgary, top rookies for Boston McLaughlin, Bordello for the Sharks pageantry. If you didn't pull a jam up. I remember how many of you were going crazy when Premier came out with Jason Spezza and he was the first $1,000 rookie patch auto, and people were losing their minds on it. We got a future watch red of Vlasic for the Hawks, collabs of Darlene Power for Buffalo, Thompson Pageantry for Buffalo. And I remember feeling like $1,000 for cardboard. That is insane. Well, that got beat up pretty quickly, didn't it? Capriza for Minnesota, collabs of Pavelski Robertson for Dallas. And a future watch effects of Tracy for the Ducks. So I just think, you know, every single generation is going to new stepping stone, right? And for us, and myself included, I remember boxes at 100 bucks all the time. Not anymore. Owen oh, Power Red Future Watch for Buffalo. Dostal for the Ducks Top Rookies. And a 699 McBain Retro Future Watch Auto for the Coyotes. And Josh, I have lived through the breaks. If you want something depressing, look at some of the breaks that we used to do back in the day, like group break 10,000, 8,000, 7,000. I used to do like six different cup cases in a monster. And the monsters would be like, like Dan might have remembered this if he's still here. I used to do like six cases a cup and be like a four ninety nine monster. Now I can barely get one freaking cup tin of 15, 16 in there. True leaders could check for Ottawa. Sign of the times. Keandre Miller for the Rangers. Sign of the times. Break 10,000 will still go down as, in my opinion, the best break in history. Pageantry of Yossi for Nashville. I, I will challenge anyone on the value of that break all day long. Malkin for Pittsburgh Red. Leaders of Yossi for the Preds. Pageantry Red of Sveshnikov for Carolina. That thing was so incredibly stacked. Future Watch Red of Like Sal for Philly. Top Rookies for LA of Clark. And man, I am crushing this break. I'm very happy with the amount of big cards I'm getting. A Acetate Future Watch for the Montreal Canadiens. So love Kofsky. Uh Josh, I'm fully aware of that as well. Yeah, I don't disagree with you. That is huge. Congrats. Acetate. Future watch. Slavkovsky. Recommend get that puppy graded as well. Get that one graded. There's a lot in this break I recommend getting graded. 
Top rookie blue of Vlasic for the Hawks. Line A Spectrum for uh, Blue Jackets. Power for Buffalo Pageantry. Holy moly. We got a red of Tavares for the Leafs. Collabs of Goudreau. Line A for the Jackets. Green. Pageantry. Cider for the Red Wings. Future Watch Red of Bitten for the Blues. Top Rookies Holloway for the Oilers. And a Quinn for Buffalo. Yeah, I like when we uh, get big hits from several different teams. Spread out the uh, the wealth for everyone. I love it. All right, now we're going to go into some of the bigger stuff and then finish off with the biggest stuff. We still got a long way to go. We've got for Anaheim Dostal. Uh, why he never took off, I'll be completely honest and tell you, and I, I guarantee most Habs fans will agree with me, he kind of sucked in the beginning. He had a lot of hype. Do not get me wrong, a ton of hype. His beginning of play did not help the kid out. That is just a stone cold truth. Hype can only go so far. You got to score. We got a Keith Kachuk. Sold the old Winnipeg Jets. So that goes to the Coyotes. We've got for the Avalanche, Landeskog. It's the exact opposite of what happened with Matthews, right? That first game just lit him on fire. And it was, it's impossible to go back after that. Joe Hansen, the 99 for Washington. Actually, last friend year is probably the exact same thing. He didn't. He didn't have bigger uh, hype than Bedard, but he was huge. I agree with you. Calgary Flames jersey numbered twelve of sixty-six. Iginla. I don't think I've ever seen anything as big as Bedard. And I've been through now, basically Crosby, Ovi, McDavid, for the hobby. I'm saying for the hobby to be clear. Bedard is a different animal. For Vancouver, number to 75, Skaters of De Demko. Demko. We've got for Montreal, the 35, Harris. Wonderkind. But Dard was as big and same as Lafreniere is because of COVID. So many collectors came in. And Laffy got a boatload. Wonderkind Abruzzi. Fire Chicken, there's a lot of big hits. For Vegas, Leonard. We've had a huge Red Wings hit, a several big Montreal hits, a big Leafs hit. Uh, I'm trying to remember all the other ones, guys. My brain is. At this point, when you're breaking for an hour and a half, you're kind of on a semi autopilot and your brain just kind of forgets things, so. Like, Celebrini should be a big rookie. It's just not much hype around him right now. Not much hype. Now, if he comes out and starts the season on fire, that'll be great for everybody. $4.99 for Philadelphia beginning. Number to 65 for Winnipeg. Hell of a buck. The patches for Celebrini should be great. Yeah, I agree. That's going to be amazing. We've got a clear rookie, Urson, for Philly. Well, you know what? I would have said that San Jose might have been a big dud this year, but I like their pickups, especially with Askarov. They might not be as bad as we all think. We've got a McKinnon, Orem, for the Avs. Now, do not... Take my words and say that I think they're contenders. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't think they'll be as bad as we think. $9.99 for Anaheim of Nestorenko. I actually think they'll have, uh, they'll be a fun team to watch next year. $1.99 for Vancouver, Brock Besser. Oh, I, I'm thrilled with Bedard on the Hawks for swatches. And Celebrini ain't going to be bad on the swatches either. I love that. 249 for Minnesota Boldy. And we got 
249 dual jersey of Goudreau for the Blue Jackets. Yeah, it's the only downside to teams like... I guess the wings have a decent middle like logo part of the wing of it. Yeah, you know what? I, I, it's tough to say, Josh, on those. I can see everyone's point of view on those kind of things, but I also feel like... I don't know. I feel like there could be a lot bigger consequences if it ever got found out, right? Like, is that worth it to maybe drain your entire league? Because if that got found out, you damn well know everyone's going to think everything else is rigged, right? We got a renditions rookie jersey of Luke Hughes. Luke Hughes. And we got a $6.99 of DeHarnay for the Oilers. I don't I'm not familiar with that story, Josh, so I can't obviously uh speak on it. We've got for the Maple Leafs Matthew Nice. Very nice. For the Maple Leafs. I don't think they rig, honestly. We've got for uh, Minnesota, Mark Andre Fleury. And we've got a generation to 799 Slavkovsky. Break 10,000 on two cases of cup. What was the break then that we had uh, every year of cup then? The, the, what year was that one? Generation to Panarin for the Rangers. And we have number to 249, Bouchard. Yeah, I don't. I thought it was 10,000, but. Generation for Philly of Carter Hart. And we've got number to 349, Lidstrom. Lidstrom. To be fair, though, Dan, was those, was those two cases 15, 16, 16, 17? Renditions of Casper for the Red Wings, six ninety nine. dollars Matt Murray. Matt Murray. It could have been 15000 as well, Dan. Yeah, I do remember what you just said there, that there was one break that I think I tried to have all the cup years in there. Oh, my water's almost out already. Oh, the arms. The arms are hurting. 10, 11, and that doesn't seem right. For 10,000, are you sure? Well, there we go. We've got a radiant. Radiant, number to 99 of Minchukov. We've got a rookie, number to 50 for Chicago. Man, the colors on these make the name so hard. David Gust. Uh, Josh, most likely, again, I haven't seen how they're doing it yet. Radiance to 949 of Cooley for the Rangers. And for the Maple Leafs, 299, John T. Varis. A cry oh, that had the Kreider rookie shield. I do remember that one. That was so cool. That thing was sitting there for a long time, apparently. The biggest rookie. Uh... That's funny. Prider Rookie Shield out of Cup. That was cool. We've got a Shadow Box Rookie to 99, Connor Brown. By the way, whoever has this expired redemption raffle, we do have the link on our website. Now, I got to double check to see if the links still work. 
I know Upper Deck changed their website recently, so I might have to reformat that. But there is an expired redemption raffle, so don't be uh, left out on that. Robert, I was going to say, I do recognize your uh, your name. I know you've been with us for a long time. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was your username not something with Sharks? SJ Sharks something something? We got a one uh, 235 Dylan Strom. Jersey. Coyotes. Nope. Ah. Who am I thinking of then? That's a thick card. Shadow Box Rookie. To 249, Kyle Connor. Kyle Connor, 249. Did you have a username on our forums? How would you even protect that? Yeah, look at that thing. Golden, I don't know if you're in the room, but if you want to... Uh, just pay attention to those people and kick them out. I got this one. You sure did? Okay. I gotta look this up then. I'm so curious. And for Buffalo, 235 of Bailey. Do you wanna do you wanna give me a hint? Wait, is it still the same username that you have now? I'll be honest, I didn't pay attention. It's still uh the Wilson 96. Mm. Break 15,000. There you go. 10 years of cup. Yeah, there's no hope I can do that break anymore. Wilson, you're an OG OG. I think you're... Were you not part of one of the first breaks we did? 299 for San Jose, Lane Peterson. We've got an Emblems Auto for Florida, Sam Bennett. Josh, I like that format as well. It's a safer format for everybody. We'll see how it goes, though. We're trying out new things. Well, Robert, great seeing you again. Always appreciate people who've been with us for 16 years. Oh, my God. We've got an ultimate displays of Kaprizov for Minnesota. Boston Tiger, even though I have no respect for them. I like that. And we've got a 699 Thompson for Ottawa. Thompson for Ottawa. And Golden, do you mind just confirming for me? Um, again, just my brain is froze right now. Do you mind going into the monster break and confirming it is a five box black diamond case? I'm pretty sure it was. I just don't want to make sure. I don't want to open up a case if it's only one box. And I want to make sure it's the right year, 23, 24. We've got number to 149, Mario Lemieux for Pittsburgh. I don't think you guys realize how much it means to me when I have members from 16 years ago still break with us. We've got an introductions auto for the Coyotes of Michelli. It is. Thank you very much, Golden. Michelli. Introductions autos. For the Islanders, Raddy Emblems auto. Michelli. He's a decent player, actually. Kind of. Islanders. And for Dallas, seven ninety nine Carlstrom. With the uh, I, uh, I love it. Yeah, it kind of ages me, though, uh, on the breaking scale. I don't know if I like that, to be honest. I don't know if I like that. It ages me. I've been breaking for too damn long. <laughs> All right, let's crush this. The Subban Kadri rookie seed. Oh my gosh. 
That's fine. So you would have been us before we opened a store, probably. Two ninety nine cousins. From my bedroom to my parent, well, my bedroom in my parents' house to my parent basement to the store. Two ninety nine cousins. Three ninety nine for the Anaheim Ducks of Gruel. Used to be a side view. Well, I think we're still a side view. Technically, are we not? The bedroom breaks. Ooh, that's kind of cool. We've got a rookie. Auto patch to 99. Michael Bunting. It's only like three teams ago. Michael Bunting to 99. Rookie auto patch. That's sexy. That's sexy as well. A 99 super rookie autograph, Jeremy Swayman. Sat across from the, yeah, so that probably would have been the basement or the room. Jerry, holy jeez. Swayman. We've got for the Devils, number to 300, Mercer. Mercer. And for Tampa, Vasilevsky. That's crazy. Some OG people in here. I love it. Can I do the premiere? I'll do the premiere next just to... Do that one, then I can focus on the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, what is this? I'm sorry. It's a diamond. Well, said I don't plan on going in here for a long time, guys, so I will be breaking till I am, uh, very old, so get used to it. It is a nice trip down memory lane. We've got for Montreal, Andrew Shaw. Uh, I remember Sean Premier. I know Golden will remember Sean Premier. Premier signature is Andrew Shaw. Every freaking tin. For Pittsburgh, two ninety nine Sunkfist. I swear Andrew Shaw is the OG of the uh, the Fiala days, right? We've got for the Penguins the two ninety nine Sunkfist. Jerry, all the support is appreciated. As I said, we've been doing this for a long time. Seen a lot of fun, good, bad, crazy times. It's all good. We've been through it all. We've got a 199 base jersey of Ovechkin. Ovechkin. For the Rangers, number to 25. Zabinajad. When will CNC introduce hit selects? What do you mean, when will we introduce it? Just so I know what you're saying. And we've got a Tyler Mott for Chicago. When will the next one be? Because I'm pretty sure we did introduce those. Um, it is becoming increasingly tougher with Bedard gear. Josh, to be completely candid, I've always said I try to build them as much as I can. Um, if I don't like the price point of it, I just don't build it, if you want my honest answer on that. And I don't want to just build for the sake of just building and crushing people, so. So, unfortunately, until I can make something work that I think is good value, they're going to take a back seat for a bit. All right, Diamond, let's go, buddy. Start off number to 349 for Montreal of Beck. Jerry, I will say that is always what we have tried to do when we first started, is just always be up front on everything that we do. No, that's a good start. Number 9 of 10. 
Rookie Gems Auto Coronado. Nine of ten red rookie gems auto. That's a solid Calgary hit. Congrats. Team logo jumbos of Keith Primo for Carolina. Keith Primo. Number to twenty five. Exquisite rookie of Forrester for Philly. Kipper jersey. Underrated goalie, I think, Capriza. Or, yeah, underrated goalie. I was going to say Capriza. Minnesota's on my mind, clearly. For Seattle, the 299 Diamond Stars of Baneers. So, Josh, I can counter that one as well. If you don't want stickers, you got to wait longer. So then the problem is then it's only high end at the end. Number to 399, Ovechkin Exquisite. Ovechkin. So that's the problem also with uh, releasing these. You basically have Ultimate, SBA, Premier, Black Diamond, Cup all coming out back to back to back. It would murder collectors on the wallet. So the, the, the logic is having diamond early so you can have a nice high end in the beginning of the year for people. And I don't mind that. I think that actually is a smarter route to go, to be honest. We've got a 349 Jack Hughes. <laughs> Knock a hundred bucks off for the Sabers. One ninety nine. Rusick. One ninety nine. Rusick. Rookie Gems Auto. Team Logo Jumbos. Wow, nice. Numbered four of five. Roman Yossi. Four of five, Roman Yossi. We've got for Seattle a 99 Diamond Might Matty Bunier. 99 Diamond Mike Boniers. We got a rookie gems, number to 399 of Levi for Buffalo. Buffalo Sabres. And a nice exquisite rookie to 299, Matthew Nye. Matthew Nyes. I am curious to see how he's going to progress in the next like two, three, four, five years. Steel wheels, yeah. The metal cards, I like those. They cost a lot to produce, the metal cards. I'm sure you guys can imagine that, but. We've got for Tampa 349 Braden Point. Double Diamond Red Rookie to 49 for the Islanders of Bolduck. I agree, Jerry. I feel like he might be a pretty top six important player, isn't he? Or at least has the capability of being that. Islanders. We've got a team logo jumbo rookies of Advinson for the Red Wings. Diamond debut relics for Montreal of Beck. Owen Beck. 
for Vegas to 299, Jack Eichel. And for Minnesota to 99, Boldy Kaprizov. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm curious how this year, in all honesty, is going to go for Marner. Oh, I don't think they care about that one bit, Josh. I feel like it was just the right time to do it, to be honest. I don't think they gave a crap about that. <laughs> Number to 349, Groove Hour. 349 for Seattle. This guy is kind of following a bit. Number to 25, Diamond Stars Auto, Michael Bunting. Um, well, I wouldn't say Matthews had nothing to gain from it. I disagree with that massively. I think being a captain of such a good franchise is a big honor, and I think it's also kind of a culture change. It might be minimal, but I still think it's a culture change in the change room. Team Logo Jumbos for Ottawa of Giroux. We got a diamond debut relics for Calgary of Wolf. <laughs> We've got number to 299 Legends of Brodeur. Uh, well, Josh, I will be candid. I was never a big Matt Sundin fan, and I'm a Monster Matthews fan, so my my uh, answer is going to be insanely weighted. Two ninety nine Forrester for Philly. I, I also just think naturally Matthews is a better player than Sundin. But again, I'm very biased because I didn't really live through the Sundin era to appreciate enough. Whereas, obviously, I'm a diehard Matthews fan, and I'm living through that daily, so. Uh, Sundin did make it past the second round, but uh, was, was he injured, though? Was that the year he was injured? <laughs> I honestly don't know if that was the year or not, but I do remember one year he was injured, and then we lost when he came back. Onger for Dallas. So if you're referencing the one point where is Roberts and McCauley taking us to the third round. Holy moly. 99 rookie. Triple diamond for Munch. Not Montreal, sorry. My apologies. For the Maple Leafs, Matthew Nye. I am pretty sure, though, Josh, if you're talking about the Carolina one, was that not the one that Sundin was injured in the first round and we won rounds in two, one and two with Roberts McCauley and then Sundin came back for the third round and then we lost? Yeah. That is a nice triple diamond. Team Logo Jumbos of Aho for Carolina. They're <laughs> sticking with being rigged. That's too funny. Diamond Mine Relics for the Blue Jackets of Line, eh? Line, eh? Montreal 3.99. Owen Beck. Rookie Gems. And an exquisite to 99. That's a cool one. 66 of 99, Greg. 
Look at that numbering. Well, a triple diamond of nines. That's uh, definitely what a top five, six, seven diamond to get in that. I'll take it. Also got a double diamond out of 49. The Coronado out of 10 auto. The uh, Yossi out of five. Oh my God, my back hurts so much right now. Robert, that's going to be the negative for me in like 10 more years. I'm going to have to be like painkillers to do blogs. We went over them three times. Oh, that's rough. Uh, I think Matthews will be, as long as he stays as a Leafs, he'll be the greatest Leaf ever. I, I do firmly believe that. Whether you guys think I'm being biased or not, that's fair. You're allowed to have your opinions on that. But I definitely think he will be regarded as the best one. If he remains a Leaf for his career, to be clear. I just don't understand whether you're, if you're a Matthews hater or not, but why you would say he would not be if he kept it up. Again, my big thing is he's got to stay a Leaf. For the Flyers, 249 Giroux. Giroux. But I don't really see, Josh, why that massively impacts him. A lot of players don't have that. 249 for the Rangers of Baron. Beautiful RPA of Baron. Number 99. Signature patch of the auto. For Seattle, Jordan Eberle. Jordan Eberle. Patch auto to 99. For Vegas, Inked Insignia's number to 75. Lassition. Number to 75, Lysician. We got a Renditions Relics for LA of Byfield. I love those. Yeah, I'm a big fan of those uh, inked insignias. Byfield jersey. And we got for the Rangers, 249, Lungfist. Yeah, like to me, this is just my opinion. Is I don't think any player should be docked whether they go far in playoffs or not. Like, I don't look at any player that's a star and go, well, if you don't make it past the second or third round, you can't be considered the best. Just my honest opinion on that. I think it helps when you can win. <laughs> but I don't think that... Like, just like I wouldn't take anything out of McDavid's career if he didn't win the Cup. To me, it's like, you're still the best player. Um, I don't know about that, Josh. Like, I, Let me ask you this. Let's say McDavid keeps doing McDavid things for the next five years for the sake of this conversation. Would you honestly say that you think Patrick Kane is better than him? Right? Because he won more cups. Like I and if and let's say McDavid won no cups. I wouldn't really care about that. I think we all know McDavid's a better player. 249 for the Rangers of Mike Richter. And I'm also a big believer is you need more than one player to win a cup. You need a solid team. For the... I don't think there's even a patch in there. 
So I'm not going to play around with this, guys, but this kind of might be a fun card. <laughs> I'll explain why. 249 rookie auto patch, Connor McMichael. Now, I don't know if there's a patch behind that piece. And I'm not too sure if you want me to uh, dig it out or just keep it in there for you. I can try to pop it out if whoever has Washington's in the room and wants me to pop it out. Because maybe there's a nice patch underneath there. But uh, we're going to leave it until they tell me otherwise. So well, there you go. That's a unique piece. We've got a signature renditions for Ottawa Stutzel. Keep in mind, guys, this is 2021 product, so that is a rookie auto of Stutzel. I think I see a bit of red on the right. Yeah, I think you guys are right. I think there's something behind there, but I ain't going to be tampering it unless I get permission. Number to 36, rookie auto for Carolina, Lawrence. Gold rookie auto, Lawrence. For LA to 49, Mikey Anderson. Three color uh, rookie class patch. Mikey Anderson. And a 249 Vonacek for the Capitals. All right. Yeah, but Josh, again, my opinion, basketball is significantly more an individualized sport than hockey ever will be. So I do think that is different. Again, I do, I do honestly believe hockey is way more of a team sport than a lot of other things. And I think it's pretty much proven every single year. Uh, Crosby. Well, statistically, Crosby had some insane years. But again, who was the better player? I don't know. That's a tough one to say. I would say those guys are very, very close. Crosby in his prime was absolutely insane. And I think people forget how good he was. And that would be a good debate. I bet you a lot of people would take McDavid over Crosby in terms of skill player. Just my opinion. 249. Ooh, I thought that was something on there. Austin Matthews. But Josh, here's my argument to that though. Why does one cup for McDavid cancel out? Was it three for Crosby? Is that correct? Am I, am I correct on three? 249, a rookie auto patch of Vaselinen. Three for Crosby and two golds. And the golden goal. Number to 24. Gold, a rookie auto patch of Landblom. Landblom. We've got a signature rendition. You don't see a lot of this guy around. Arturs Urbe. Arturs Urbe. Signature renditions. Number to 249, if someone can confirm this one. Rookie auto patch, Matthew Joseph. I believe that should be, is that Tampa? 
I honestly don't remember what team he got drafted on, so. I, I would say Ovechkin's a better goal scorer, but Crosby and McDavid are the better players. That's how I would say. And a 249 rookie draft class of Brady Kachuk for Ottawa. Like, let's be honest here, guys. Matthews is not an assist machine. McDavid and Crosby are. Matthews is a better goal scorer than Crosby and McDavid. I don't think Matthews will ever be a better player than Crosby or McDavid. Like, as an overall. Like, that's where I think there's a big distinction between the two. But there's going to be very few players, I'm going to say, that are going to be the elite scoring that Matthews is. So I think there's a big difference between the two. But I would always have Crosby and Ovi as the better players than Matthews, for sure. Matthews is his better uh, scoring goals. Yeah, Ovechkin is definitely not a better 200-foot player. <laughs> I think we all are uh, fair on that one, right? He is good. And again, maybe the best ever to score goals. Very possible, right? Two forty nine at Vlad for Florida. I don't know, Josh. He's he's a pretty damn good player. He might go down as one of the greatest ever. That's a good patch auto. Two forty nine. For Ottawa, Shabbat. Shabbat. 249. We've got a scripted materials. Number to 35 for Philly. Travis Konechny. And again, just to be clear, guys, Upper Deck has an expired redemption raffle. You will generally get something in the same rough value-wise of this card. So for those going, oh, that sucks, you open a redemption. You will generally get something roughly equivalent to this card. For Chicago, number to 36, Forsling. I think there's, Josh, I think there's a lot of factors that go into it. What team he plays for, nationality. Let's be honest, if Ovechkin was a Hab or a Leaf or a Bruin, absolutely that would change things. A one of one printing plate, Patrick Kane. One of one printing plate, Patty Kane. That's sweet. And, wow, what a box. Numbered 9 of 15, Cup Foundations Quad Jersey Auto for L.A. Tyler Toffoli. And that is a 15-16 update, by the way. Random's going to be in the next video, guys.